Hello everybody, this is Ashton Forbes, here to bring you the MH370X Flight Path Explainer. The plane takes off at 1642 UTC from Kuala Lumpur, headed to Beijing. At 1719 UTC, the pilot says, Good night, Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. Around 1721 UTC, a lithium-ion battery fire explosion occurs and is seen by Mike McKay on an oil rig 300 miles away. He sees fire for 5 to 10 seconds. Nine witnesses along the coast hear loud noises at the same time. The plane goes dark. In the case of a fire, the first response is to pull the main buses and restore the circuits one by one until you have isolated the bad one. If they pulled the buses, the plane would go silent. The plane heads towards Penang, Langkawi International Airport. The pilot knew the train was friendlier towards Langkawi, which was also closer than Kuala Lumpur. At 1730 UTC, there's a communication with another pilot who hears the voice of one of the pilots of MH370. At the same time, eight fishermen on a boat 10 miles off the coast see the plane flying unusually low, consistent with a depressurization emergency event attempting to provide oxygen for the passengers. The Malaysian Minister of Defense claims the plane was not identified, but admits they knew it was a non-hostile civilian airliner. The plane flies over Langkawi at 1752 UTC when the co-pilot's cell phone pings a cell tower. The plane doesn't land either due to the fire or because they have communicated a rendezvous point. The plane continues to the Nicobar Islands until around 1840 UTC when a witness, Kate T, sees a glowing orange plane with dark smoke coming out of it. This is consistent with the crew battling the lithium battery fire with halon fire suppression devices releasing bromine, a halogen gas. Soon after, the videos begin. They show smoke coming out of the back of the plane consistent with the fire. The plane is descending in the videos consistent with an intercepted, Chinese-only reported communication that claims the plane was attempting an emergency landing and disintegrating. The plane's altitude is low in the videos, as proven by the cumulus clouds that only form between 1,000 and 5,000 feet, also consistent with the witness's sighting.